Hi, this is Azza Ching Lane and you're watching True School Sports. So uh, what made you want to get into uh, boxing and what does it take to be in boxing as well? Um, I was about 11 or 12 years old, well 11 years old and my mum wanted me to try it. Yeah. I was, I was, I wasn't the best of kids, you know, I used to play football yeah. and my mum wanted me to uh, go to the gym with my uncle. He mm. used to do a bit of boxing then. Mm. So I went to the gym with him and I really enjoyed it, you know, and then obviously my mum passed away. and. I had my first fight on the same day and the same night and you know what, just never looked back, I just carried on and just kept trying my best and working hard and gave up all my teenage years, I mean what, what did it take for me to achieve what I achieved? <laughs> I gave up my whole teenage years, I gave up a lot of my young adult years just to train, you know, I missed out all them years of partying with my friends, going out, having fun <laughs> and I just dedicated it to boxing on, on a Friday or a Saturday night. Instead of being in a bar or a club, I'd be in the gym, mm. going to the sauna or going on a run. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's a lifestyle, you know, I've never done anything else. And mm. I, I always say, if I'm going to enter the ring and have a fight, mm. I better be 100% mentally and physically. So it's my life. Yeah. That's all I've ever done. That's all I'll probably ever do. Mm. I mean, nobody knows what tomorrow holds, but yeah, mm. it's very hard. And it teaches you so much about yourself. Mm -hmm. Boxing teaches you so much about yourself. Mm -hmm. nice. What what um what advice would you give to uh, youngsters that want to get into boxing? Go to school and learn, study. Don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if boxing is like a drug, okay. Uh, you have to love it. You, you fall in love with it. You go to the gym a few times and you, and you fall in love with it. Yeah. And I really did fall in love with it. Like I really started enjoying it right. from a young age, from the age of 12, 13. Okay. And when I was 15 years old, 16 years old, this is what I wanted to do. Like yeah. everybody around me would be doing other things, going to college, going to university, and I just made my mind up. This is what I wanted to do. And I mean, any kid that wants to start and wants to become a boxer, just know. Your whole life changes. Mm. Everything changes around you, and you just have to stay focused, mm. stay disciplined, mm -hmm. and just be the best you can be. It's like a lot of sacrifice. Yeah, I've sacrificed my whole life. I've sacrificed family holidays, mm. uh, birthdays, mm. events, mm. weddings. Mm. I mean, you name it, I've done it. You mm. name it, I've done it. Like food. I mean, it, it's become normal now. I don't. I don't think of, oh, I'm doing this because I'm fighting. Mm. It's just become like second nature. Second nature now, we Except for the pizza box that we saw upstairs, right? <laughs> yeah, pizza <laughs> box, yeah. <laughs> now I'm mine. Now I'm um, yeah, it's like, it just becomes life. Yeah. You wake up, you go uh -huh. to the gym, uh -huh. you eat clean, mm. um, you go back to the gym. But you have to have that desire, isn't it? You have to have that desire, you have to have that inside killer instinct and you have to have that feeling that this is what I want to do every single day yeah, absolutely. and I enjoy it. And it's every not single second. day, yeah. yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say I enjoy it a lot of the time, which uh, which I do, but you know, yeah. it's very, it tests you as well, it tells you a lot about yourself, man. Right. And on top, I'm, I'm surrounded with world champions. Yeah. I've got a world champion in my of gym, course. which you know about. Yeah. 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 I've got a potential world champion yeah. in my gym. And these two guys ain't jokers, man. They're good fighters. Yeah. And, you know, you have to be in your game and yeah. you, you answer so many questions about yourself every single day. Am I good enough? Yeah. Do I really want to do this? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it just, it makes you into a better person as well. Shout out to the... Uh, Valiant uh, Fighters. Cal Valiant Fighters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good Shout fighters. Well. Good fighters. Very good yeah. fighters. Well, quite a good trainer too, you know. Max Crackers. Max, yeah. Max has got a lot of experience. I mean, you know, Max has been in camp with Carl Froch, AJ. You name what Joshua fighter, Bratzi. Joshua Boatsy. I mean, you name what fighter and Max ain't been in there with. And how did you come to actually being trained by Max? And what made you kind of, uh, you know, kind of like go that route? And have you always been based around Birmingham, or did you have to specifically go and travel for him? I was in a. I'm originally from Birmingham, but I lived okay. in Manchester for four years when I was 16. Right. I went to the academy. 
and then I moved back and then I went back to Manchester from the age of 23 to 25 and then uh, you know what after my brother died my brother died in 2018 July and I just thought to myself you know I just wanted to come back for a bit yeah. and the only train I was going to come to in Birmingham was Max McCracken you know because of what he's achieved and what them as a family and the fight he's got and I know what I, uh, I asked a question I asked somebody would Max train me mm -hmm. and Max you know straight away we had a chat and uh, Max goes come to the gym and we just clicked man it, it took me a bit of time you know what I mean yeah. But we clicked and I think uh, my, my first two fights with Max weren't my best. Okay. But my last fight I had last week, I was a bit rough because I ain't fought for so long. But I'm coming into my own groove now and I'm settled down with him. And mm -hmm. I'm just like nobody's seen how good I really am. Max has seen how good I am in the gym, but nobody really seen we've, until I fight the right We've person. seen, we've I seen, mean, I, be, like, I we've seen, I, I watched you really closely on the pads, and like, I noticed like, when yeah. you throw your jab, yeah. you, you, you have different variations of your jab, yeah. it comes from different places, so I, I, thought that, I mean, I, I didn't get a chance to watch you fight, I have seen, I, I didn't go watch my highlights, but the impression I get from you is that you're very, um, you're very, uh, as far as uh, analytical with how you throw your punches, you're economical, you can throw punches from different angles. Yeah. Uh, you're good I don't waste your... much. I don't, like, I fight, I, I fight with a tight defense. Mm -hmm. So I let, I, what I try doing is not wasting too much. I, I throw the right punches. And you know what? For my weight, I'm five foot ten. Like, you shouldn't be, what's boxing? Boxing is hitting and don't get hit. Yeah. If I'm boxing you and moving around the ring and I'm not getting hit, I'm a winner, man. I'm not here to take punishment and no, no. stand in the pocket and get punched in the head. I don't want to be a vegetable. I don't want to be a I don't want to be a cabbage when I'm 28 years old. Right, with two losses in my head. Yeah. I don't. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to have to interview you in like two or three years and have to add and subtitles. Speak. Add subtitles to the interview. Hey, but you get that with so many fighters. Yeah. They don't have a clue from A to B. You know. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I I I'm very smart. I believe I'm very smart. Mm -hmm. And I know I just keep fighting with my instinct. Listening to my team and just see where I end up. Like, there's no, there's no level where I think I can't achieve. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the sky's the limit, man. And I've always said that the only person who beats me is myself, and I'm the biggest enemy or the biggest opponent I face is myself. If I go off the rails, it's hard to get me back. But at the moment, I'm on the right path and I'm going the right way. We're here at the beautiful Madison Square Garden for the big fight.